In this video, we'll be talking about how to write ratios and fractions using a set of data. So the first thing I want to remember is that a ratio compares two quantities to one another. And there's actually three ways that I can do this. Uh, so the first way is I can write a ratio using a colon. So for example, if we had a ratio of 3 to 5, I can say the ratio is 3 to 5. I can use the word 2, 3, 2, 5. And I can also write it as a fraction. 3 over 5. And all of this explains the same ratio. Now using um, these ratios, I'm going to answer the following questions, and I'm going to use this table to help me answer those. So the first question asks, what is the ratio of students who prefer Nintendo to Xbox? Now this is actually a pretty simple one to do. I see that 35 students prefer Nintendo, and 45 prefer Xbox, and that's all I need to do is write 35 to 45, I can also write it as 35, using the word 2, 45. I can also use a fraction here, but we're going to save that for a little bit later, and you're going to see why. So our next question is asking, what fraction of students prefer PlayStation? So what I'm going to look at is all the students that prefer PlayStation, and in this case, that's 40 students. And what I'll have to do from here is because I'm asking for a fraction of students that only prefer PlayStation, I need to know, one, how many students prefer PlayStation, and two, how many students there are in total. So I know that 40 students prefer PlayStation. That's easy enough. I also need to count how many students prefer Nintendo and Xbox. So that's 35 and 45. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these numbers up, and you're going to see why in just a moment. So this will give me 10, carry the 1, 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 3 is 8, plus 2 is, I'm sorry, plus 4 is 120. So I know that 40 out of the 120 students that are at this school prefer PlayStation, because we're comparing PlayStation to every student that is at the school. Next, we're going to compare the fraction of players that prefer Xbox or PlayStation. So I already know that 120 students go to this school. That's going to be my denominator. Now I need to know the fraction of students that prefer Xbox or PlayStation. And this or is where a lot of people get confused. Um, some people think that you'll have to write two fractions because there is that word or. It's a common mistake. Um, but what you're actually looking for is if you were to pick out a random student would they, if they prefer Xbox or PlayStation, doesn't matter which one, they count towards um, the numerator. So I know up above that 40 people prefer PlayStation and 45 people prefer Xbox. So 45 plus 40 gives me 85. So I know that 85 students out of the entire student body prefer Xbox and PlayStation or I should say prefer Xbox or PlayStation, out of the 120 that are there. So when you see this or right here, that should mean addition. Not that we need two separate fractions, we're only looking for one fraction here. And when you see the word fraction, we're, that means we're comparing it to all the students that are involved. All right, next we have a question that reads, 40 60 thirds of students participate in band after school. What is the ratio of students who do not participate to those who do? So because this is a fraction, I know that I have two different um, sets of data that are going to help me out. So I know that this 40 represents the students that want to go to band after school. And the 63 represents how many students there are in the entire school. So if I need to find the number of students who do not participate in band, I need to find out what's left over from this 40. So I'm going to subtract 63, because this represents my entire student body, by 40. Because that'll tell me how many students do not go to band. So if I subtract these two, I'll get 23. And now I need to write my ratio. So the ratio of students who do not participate is 23 students. Those who do participate is 40. So now I have my ratio comparing students who do not participate to those who do.